Hello, it's Paddington Bear. We have got one, two, three, four little stories about Paddington Bear. Paddington goes shopping. Paddington, the arrival. Pa- Hello, I'm Paddington Bear. Paddington at home. I'm having food at home. Paddington at seaside. Paddington is resting on the beach. I'm going to read this four little story about Paddington Bear for you. Are you ready? This is our first Paddington Bear story. Paddington, the arrival. When Paddington said goodbye to his aunt Lucy in Peru, he had no idea where he would end up. Surprised when he found himself on a railway platform in London, England. Mr. and Mrs. Brown were surprised too, because they had never seen a bear. On Paddington Station before. They called him Paddington, and seeing him looked hungry after his journey, they bought him some cakes. To number thirty-two, Windsor Gardens, with them, and straight away he felt at home. I cannot wait to tell my aunt Lucy," he said. This is our second puzzle story. Paddington goes shopping. Set out with his basket on wheels to do the shopping. First of all, he bought a jar of marmalade at the grocer's, and then he went to the baker's for some buns. While he was having a cup of cocoa with his friend, Miss Gruber, he made a marmalade sandwich. Which he gave to some birds he met on the way home. Luckily, they gobbled it down as fast as they could.
so Paddington was home in time for his own lunch. This is our third puzzle story, Paddington at the Seaside. One morning, Paddington woke earlier. It felt like a day to be by the sea. So he made himself some marmalade sandwiches. And set out for a pretend holiday in the bronze garden. First, he made sand castles in the sand pit, but soon found it's not as easy as it looks, especially if you have poles. So he had a nap. In the paddling pool instead, while he was dozing, he had another idea. Pretend holidays are nice, but real picnics are even nicer. This is our fourth puzzle story. Our last puzzle story for tonight. Paddington at home. Paddington decided to make himself useful about the house. First of all, he made a cake. Then he laid a pole in the garden, but there was so much to be done. He ended up quite worn out by it all. He didn't wake up until the middle of the afternoon. Time to lay the table ready for tea. After tea, Paddington wrote down all the things he had done that day. Then he went to bed. My eyelids are very tired, he said to the world in general. I think they need a good night rest. Paddington Bear, now it's time for you to go sleep as well, baby. Close your eyes. I will read you more stories soon. Sweet dreams. Shh.